Okay, part two, solar install. And uh, as we did before, came down through here with our wiring. Now, I pulled out my propane because I do not use the quick connect. I don't use that outside. So what I've done and what I will do is put some foam, styrofoam inside to insulate it. So you can see where we came in with our wiring. Run it all up there. There is my propane, which I am not going to use. And I'm going to put this panel up here. Get the wires out of the way, of course. But I'm going to put that panel up there. So what I just gained is a lot of storage. Because previously, this was clear out here at an angle. And I lost room here for my two big slide-in bins. I'd have to take one out or push it all the way back in there so I could pull one back out towards me. So we're going to go up against this side and mount that up there. Okay, just fall. So today, we went ahead and hooked everything up. We've got our um, fuse boxes in to the solar and fuse box for the battery. And still figuring out all this. <laughs> we don't have any load hooked up yet. We'll do that later on phase three when I get my switches. So everything went very cleanly, very nicely, and we were able to go right on down through the underside of the compartment here and then come up with our cables right into the battery. So that worked out very well. So additional pieces that we needed were the fuse switches, the fuse box, and fuses, and that's all so far, and of course the detective cabling and mounts. So we got all that done. We're gonna load it back up, go outside, and see if we got some charging going on, and then we'll do phase three, or phase two as Greg calls it. This is part two of the video. We'll come later when all the parts come in. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed.